top of the hour, we'll have that. But right yeah. now, we've got the champ. The champ is yeah. here. Well done. Great, Great to job. see you. Come on in. Oh. Take a seat. Your Indian Wells women's champion right off the court, Elena Rybakina. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for rushing up here and getting to us so fast. Yeah. Uh, what a match. What a first set, uh, Elena. Yes. You were down to break early. How did you, how did you get it back? Yeah, well, it's uh, it was a roller coaster with all these double faults. I think we were both so tight, but uh, yeah, because we both knew that uh, uh, it's not easy with our source uh, to to hold it, but also to try to break. And uh, yeah, it's it's been just a roller coaster. And I'm happy that uh, first set uh, went my way, so the second was a bit easier. Okay, going into this match, you had lost four times before yeah. to her, and all very very close matches. What was the difference maker today? Yeah, well, as I said, I think this first set uh, kind of helped because after it's uh, easier to start the second. And uh, I think just these important moments uh, after it became also a bit windy. So it was an advantage to be with a break up in the second. But uh, yeah, as I said, just the first set, this tie break went my way and then the second uh, I mean, it's just always tough battles against uh, Arena, so this time went my way, and uh, yeah, finally I broke this head-to-head 0-4, -head, uh, <laughs> so now it's 1-4. Uh, yeah, I'm just happy with the win. Well, the rankings come out tomorrow. You'll be at a career-high number seven, and when we were looking back at your results from last year, not a whole lot of points to have to defend for a bunch of months now. Curious now, you have a Grand Slam title. You're, now your ranking's going up. Have the goals changed for you and your team yet for this coming season? Uh, well, not really, because uh, in the beginning we were thinking just to break to top 10 finally, because last year I did great results, but uh, still uh, didn't get uh, points. And uh, uh, yeah, so uh, probably now the goal is uh, to try to finish to five since I got so many points now and uh, to keep playing at the same level till the end of the year, because it's just the beginning and still a lot of tournament in front. So yeah. Uh, really healthy competition between you and Arena, and we yeah. saw just a great <laughs> moment during the trophy presentation yeah. when you were like, oh, I finally got you for the first time. Yeah. Uh, take a look at this. With uh, And she she comes in here. And <laughs> <laughs> she does not no, like wait, is... <laughs> That's why they started yeah. laughing some yeah, of the crowd. I didn't see, but yeah, it's funny. Yeah, because it's uh, we're pushing, I think, each other to the to the highest level and uh, yeah it's uh, as you can see in the first set it was just mentally also not easy to just finish the set finally either her or me so yeah great battles against Serena. You know one thing that is I mean so many parts of your game are improved but also the movement and how you were getting around the court you look stronger has that been something that you've been focused on the last few months? Uh, yeah for sure we worked a lot on the physics because uh, the previous years I was playing well I was all also uh, improving but I didn't have this consistency so now I think uh, from the beginning of the year after preseason uh, till now it's been a good uh, work with a fitness coach also physio and uh, yeah, same with trying to work on, on the court. Maybe when you play so many matches, it's not that easy, but uh, we're still trying to improve some uh, technique and uh, kind of change the game a bit also coming more often to the net. Oh, that's fantastic. It worked, it worked out really well for you today. And, and we've just seen the smile on your face throughout, yeah. throughout these entire <laughs> two weeks. Uh, you said after your last match, if I can play like this, I can beat anyone yeah. in the world. What is your process, Lena, uh, to find that mindset? Well, it's not easy. I think it just comes with the experience. It's in the end uh, when you come to the finals and you play against the uh, best players, it's it's just a mental game and you have to try to, to be strong because uh, you have all the shots. Uh, I have the biggest uh, sore for now and uh, yeah, it's just I think overall coming together experience, uh, a bit improvement on the physics and uh, yeah, hopefully I can keep on going like this. Yeah, well, you managed to find your perfect game in here in the California desert. Conditions can be very drastically different here. Today, a little bit windy, but now you go on to Miami, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> New big tournament starting in yes. a few days. Of course, you want to enjoy this one. But um, there's been just a handful of players over the history that can win both, the Sunshine Double. How how are you feeling about your hardcore game now? Uh, well, I played, played really uh, good here, so hopefully I can maintain the level in Miami, but I also know that it's uh, 
uh, you need to get there. It's uh, not uh, in easy conditions also. It's completely different. It's humid. And uh, yeah, here is kind of challenge for myself to, to be consistent and try to do good in the second biggest tournament. Uh, so yeah, I try. Hey, you've got it going on right now. And you had those Wimbledon points. You're number three in the world. So that's yeah. that's where you're at right now. And you just beat one and two, by the way. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Incredible two weeks here Thank in the you. desert. Really appreciate you spending some time with us throughout the past couple of weeks. And we wish you the best going forward. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. Your 2023 BNP Paribas Open Women's Singles Champion, Elena Rybakina, gets it done.